we have a game against Chu Chui. On which we'll astonishingly take Sijik, Red Eagle, Druid King, and Rajin. Okay. I'm going first. We have an opportunity right away to efficiently fuck off while and play cards. I get it. Uh, efficiently to get rid of the War Song and also pick a scr up a Scrying Globe at the same time. Elder Tide Fenwitch is the pickup. Not terrible, but not so immediately good. The Time Mastery pairs well with the Elder Tide Fenwitch, but it's also, without much doubt, my best pickup. So, and he kind of doesn't have anything with his four, four money. He's probably going to, he could pick up the Harvest Season to draw a card. He doesn't, he just plays Imperial Plunder. Fine. Dumps the Midnight Raid. Fine. And trash is for a gold. Um, Sepra's Insight is pretty good for him. But I... So right now is an ambiguous decision point. I could take Sepra's Insight. I could take Deepwood's Ritual and, and get a gold. I don't like that play very much. I could also take a Clan Witch. I'm probably favoring this idea. Take a Clan Witch. Make him deal with the Clan Witch. He would like to pick up Deepwood's Ritual because he's already got green cards in his shit. Uh, but there's a high opportunity cost to doing it. No, he picks up Sepra's Insight. Uh, that's smart. That's very smart. Uh, although he has to deal with my Clan Witch and he didn't. So, you know. Now I get to thin out my deck pretty severely. Look at all those golds that I don't have in my deck anymore. I only have two of them left. And... I will give you curse or take the deep roots ritual. Give them a curse. Yeah, I, I had to think about that for a second, but I, that this is the right option. Giving the curse with the extra extra money at the end of my turn that otherwise would have gone into Deepwood's Ritual, which is not a card that helps me. It is a card that helps him, but giving him a curse decreases the likelihood that it's really going to be super useful for him. And he removes the, uh, the Elder Witch with the Patron Power. It's fine. My deck's so thin. Look at that. Look at how thin this is. And I could grab Hagraven and, and, and just make it untouchably thin. Uh, I feel like it's a mistake to do this right now. Can remove the Elder Tide Fenwitch. We need to get some source of power to remove things. Deep Rube's Ritual is stand, standing right in the face there, but I'm not going to be tempted to click it. Just give him more curses and call it a day and hope to get some, some stuff like Dreaming Cave and Sepra's Insight or maybe Midnight Raid to pop up. Well, that is not what popped up. I think it's time to take the Deep Woods Ritual. Fuck. Dreaming Cave right behind it. And he's going to get it. No good. Nothing much I could do about that. Okay, he's not going to get the Dreaming Cave. That's uh, that's quite fortunate that he stalled out there with a curse and a separate insight and didn't pull it out. So there's method to the madness where, you know, my deck already thinned out tremendously and his didn't okay he removes the dreaming cave but at least he doesn't have it uh, that's a shame though smart of him to remove that <sighs> sure we'll toss those all right i'll keep those agents Uh, I don't have three played, so that doesn't help me. 
I'll just give more curses. I'll be content with the relatively poor power generation that my deck is, is exhibiting right at the moment. It needs to be better. Uh, right now I don't have money. The Shadow of Slumber could, could pick up some money. Yeah, it's unfortunate. What did I just do? I replaced something for free. Okay, fine. Guess I'll take this Crying Globe, why not? I replaced uh, the shitty card with it. This Crying Globe is a good card. Don't feel bad about it. <clears throat> Elder Tide Fenwich. He's got a Pounce and Profit that he can pick up. This is the danger of being in a, a game with without enough power. There you go. That is the card I've been looking for. Midnight Raid. Exactly what I need right now at this time in the game, ironically. I am not going to deal with the Elder Tide Fenwich unless I get something extraordinarily lucky, which I did not get, so... You got a coin from getting a curse or whatever. I'll, I'll happily take him getting one coin for, for having this curse. Happily. Wisp Collar Totems. I will be removing this now, almost invariably, but I, I had to take my win condition. Uh, let's just take blackmail and see what comes up. Yeah, good choice. Dreaming cave. We're happy. Ruins of the Draufa. Dry Drow Draufa. Whatever it is. Is a good card. He should take it, probably. With two money. Where'd he get his two money from? He did not take it. Let's um, clear some shit and make it more difficult for him to roll a chimera. Alternately, Give him curses and make it more difficult for him to roll the chimera. Actually, that's better. When you think about it rationally, should I like deal with the board or should I make it more difficult for him to get a chimera by giving him curses? The answer is always just curses. Let's, he should take this midnight raid away from me. Kind of important. But he's gonna he's gonna get big druid. And um that's a little bit scary. To get big druid rolling like this.
I don't want him... To, well, he's he has only good cards. He could get, like, these golds, but that's okay, I guess. I don't really expect him to want to take this Briarheart Ritual, but maybe he, sh maybe he will. Yeah. Good, better, good choice on his part. But that's okay. Just grab agents to be slightly annoying. Make, give him more targets for him to force him to deal with. Now, even if he has chimeras here, if he picks up like one chimera, it should be okay. This also makes it more difficult for him to get chimeras by um, making him combo more things. What? He get a hack raven? When did that happen? Well, the hag raven is is like immediate huge priority to remove. Okay, that was a bit wasteful. He got a synergy out of it, but a bit wasteful. should have taken the Karthman Hunter. That was dumb of me. I didn't. He's got... Oh, an Elder Tide Fenwish, not have respects. Yeah, he'll just get huge amounts of coin. Which he can't really translate into that much very easily. You want to spend all of this money to uh, go the patron power? Oh, you did it with Karthman Hunter. Okay. Alright, we'll just use the patron power to, to clear his board and be done with it. No, we will not. We'll use a smarter patron power to clear his board and be done with it. Let's do this first. Not that this will make any difference. He has a Ruins of the Dryfa and a Deep Woods Ritual. And a forest wraith. And he should clear the back black sacrament to make it as easy as possible. Okay. Alright, we'll just play Sigic and get rid of that. I guess we'll take a Scrying Globe as well. Couldn't hurt. Scrying Globe, in theory, shouldn't take up space in the deck. But it can in a small enough deck. In, a big, in, a, in an infinite deck, Scrying Globe doesn't take up space. Okay, he trashed something. <clears throat> Should be smooth sailing. He gives me curses. Too late. He also didn't deal with the board. He's just being frustrated in terms of his ability to be to, to deal with the board right now.
Okay, so we're at 42. He's going to have to make up that ground. There's absolutely no way he's going to do it. I think I'm going to call this, this episode Interfering with Druid with Sweet Sweet Curses. Why is he BMing me? Am I on leaderboard? Hooray, I'm ranked 5 out of 12, <laughs> along with two other people. <laughs> I'm ahead of Pink Apple, hooray. Alright. That's something. 